So it's been a while since I've done a dedicated recommendations video. So I posted on Instagram asking people, what kind of books are you in the market for? What kind of books are you needing some recommendations on? I got a lot of responses. I will not be able to respond to all of them or a lot of answers. I will not be able to respond to all of them, but I will do my best to get through a lot today. Bookish Dreamers wants a book that feels magical, maybe a soft magic system like Harry Potter. So for me, books that feel the most magical are books where the writing is very immersive, atmospheric, and yes, soft magic systems do tend to feel more magical to me too. Um, I often feel like middle grade captures this the best. So I just started Nevermore, and I think that this captures those vibes exactly perfectly. I think Percy Jackson did a great job with this as well. And Furthermore, as well as Winterwood by Tahara Mafi were both uh, very, very magical as well. But if you're looking for adult books that capture this, Piranesi is easily at the top of my list. I think that Piranesi is the book that made magic feel the most real of any adult book I've read. But I also think The Starless Sea captured this and Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. So lots, lots of recommendations, but this happens to be something that I love too. Um, a book that explores mental health and mental illness. Admittedly, I haven't read a ton of these, but I think books like The Boy, The Horse, The Fox, the and, and Big Panda, Little Dragon are both really great for like little snippets, little nuggets of that. Um, but also the book Turtles All the Way Down, which I didn't like, but the one thing I did really like about it was the exploration of mental health, specifically spiraling thoughts, which I have when anxiety is winning the fight. Um, and it was very relatable. A Silent Voice is a uh, manga series that it has, it focuses on bullying, but it focuses also very strongly on the mental health effects of multiple people who have been a part of the bullying, whether it be the victim or the bullier. And I really loved the way it was handled. Um, and then also a shout out to a book that's not yet published. My friend Tim from Hello Future Me uh, has written a fiction book. It's not been picked up by a publisher yet, but once it is, if you're looking for a book that explores mental health vulnerably and deeply, keep, keep an eye out for that one. Cameron Williams123 wants something to fill the Bachman-sized void in my heart now that I have read all of his work. Still Alice is about uh, dementia and someone who with early onset dementia and it's in her head as she's experiencing all of this and I really appreciated this book. My Dark Vanessa is specifically about grooming and pedophilia and it's hard to read with some really difficult scenes but um, incredibly done. The Vanishing Half follows two sisters who have separated and um, living very different lives and it follows them as well as their daughters and how their lives are different as well as how they are connecting. It's a really interwoven plot and I thought it was done so well. Crucifixion wants a time travel that is well paced with the wrong time right person trope. I think you just described a Witch in Time. If you haven't read that yet, you probably should. I actually DNF'd this book really recently, but that was just because there were a couple scenes that were too hard for me to read. Um, I do think that it was very well written, very well paced. It had me very interested from the beginning. And even though I ended up putting it down because I thought I felt like it was maybe not the right book for me, it's still on my mind. And um, I feel very confident that it fits what you're asking for exactly right. Tommy Barreth, Barth, 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 has witty, sarcastic dialogue. Have you met Liza Blacklot Mora? This is my favorite series. If you haven't read it yet, you maybe should. Um, also Murderbot, this series is uh, the, probably the most dry, witty, sarcastic, hilarious little set of novellas ever. There's a novel at some point in, down the line, but I've only gotten through the novellas. But anyway, it'll fit. It'll fit the bill and they're quick. Also, I think anything Joe Abercrombie writes is absolutely in this category. His characters are very um, 
uh, hard and morally gray and uh, the world is very dark, but um, there's this dry, witty humor throughout all of his books that kind of soften everything. I, I think that he's a pro at this kind of writing. Something that, something like Gentleman Bastards. Um, the, oh, the Count of Monte Cristo is nothing like it, but somewhat like it. And I think you should read it. It's so good. I think that it's, the plot is interwoven and masterfully executed and um, keeps you on your toes like the Gentleman Bastards does. But also I've heard Mask of Mirrors. Now this is a book that I have not read yet, but I'm actually planning on reading here in the next couple of months. It was pitched to me as being like The Lies of Locke Lamora and Leverage combined, which if you don't know my favorite series and what was my favorite TV series for most of my life, it has been dethroned by Avatar, but still my number two, um, I, I must read this. You should read it with me and we'll talk. Realistic science fiction. Um, I think Michael Creighton does a great job at this, so I would recommend Timeline by him. Uh, you could also check out Project Hail Mary, which you do have to have some suspension of disbelief for certain things, but for the most part, I think that it feels like it's not too out there if I think it, I think it fits. Um, the Calculating Stars is also one that I think would would suit this. Reads like a fairy tale, but for adults. So Neil Gaiman is pro at this. So check out Neverwhere by him specifically. You could also check out The Sleeper in the Spindle by him, um, which is much, much shorter, but really anything he writes is probably, or near anything he writes would work. Something like comedic Dungeons and Dragons. So I, uh, Kings of Wild, Kings of the Wild, that's what that is. Um, I tried that book, gave up on it. It wasn't the right time for me. I'm actually trying it again this month. So you'll see what I think of it probably at the end of this month in a wrap up if you look, if you if you watch those. Um, but if, if you want something, that's what this is. Kings of the Wild is uh, a bunch of like 30 and 40 year old men who are coming together to basically start another campaign. It's funny, it's, silly and it feels like somebody played a game of D&D and then wrote that down. Fantasy with a main character who is really a loser. <laughs> no problem solving skills. <laughs> Nothing. Um, well that'd be the Black Prism and maybe that sounds a bit like I'm insulting Kip. And may maybe I am. Yeah. It's Kip. You, d you described Kip from from the Black Prism. Is sci-fi but makes me feel hopeful. Already read Becky Chambers. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll point you back towards Project Hail Mary and The Calculating Stars. That, that's exactly what those books are. Has flying ships. <laughs> um, pirate ships, not spaceships. Cool. So, uh, Of Sea and Sky is, I believe it's a self-published book, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong though. I, I enjoyed this book quite a bit. I had some issues with it, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it. And I think that it's a fast, easy, fun read, Sky Pirates. Um, also, uh, Retribution Falls, which again, I haven't actually read yet, but I am reading this month. So again, if you watch my wrap up, it'll be there. You'll know my thoughts on it, but it's Sky Pirates and it's by Chris Wooding who wrote The Ember Blade, which was one of my favorite books of the year. So I have high hopes so you just read it with me. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what we think together. Has an unreliable narrator and it's unclear for a long time if the narrator is a hero or an anti-hero. So the most obvious answer for this is Gone Girl, but that's super popular. So my next picks will be Rebecca and My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Rebecca is super popular too, you say? Fine. Then I will also recommend The Secret History. Yeah, yeah, that one's popular too. But maybe you haven't read one of these. They, I think they all fit the bill. A short classic that isn't boring. Um, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, The Yellow Wallpaper, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Treasure Island, Winnie the Pooh, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Woman in Black, The Haunting of Hill House, The Outsiders, there's so many good ones. 
Progression fantasy that isn't Cradle. Um, so I have read Sufficiently Advanced Magic and Six Sacred Swords, both by the same author, and I enjoyed both of them. I'm actually reading He Who Fights With Monsters this month, again. <laughs> Check out my wrap up if you want to know my final thoughts on it. But I'm reading that, oh, I'm reading that next month. So in March, it comes highly recommended. And Beneath the Dragon Eye Moons is, I haven't read that either, but it's also on my soon to be read list that also comes highly recommended. And finally, we are going to end on books similar to Skyward, fast paced fantasy. So Skyward is sci-fi, but you are correct that as the series progresses, it really it, it really is starting to feel more fantasy than sci-fi. Um, so, but if you want like a YA fast-paced fantasy, I really think Raybearer is a great choice. It's not super similar or even very similar to Skyward, but the pacing is great. The world building is amazing. The magic system is fascinating and the characters, while they aren't the most deep characters in the world, I still think that they're easy to attach to and I think that it's a book that's easy to just fly through, so I do highly recommend it. So there you go. I hope you got a recommendation out of this video. I really enjoy doing these. I think that they're a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoyed it too. If you're looking for a recommendation, you can also, if that I didn't answer today, you can also put it in the comments of this video and I'm sure other people watching this video will happily recommend books that they've loved too. So be sure to chat with me more about it in the comments. I post videos every Tuesday through Friday. I'll see you again soon. Bye.